Okay, so now we just want to break up this um, sculpt layer, this blend shape, into the eyes and the mouth. But before I do that, I'm going to show you guys just a couple of tools that are in Mudbox really simply. So I'm going to switch off the smile, add a new blend shape. We're going to call this a temporary blend shape or a temporary sculpt layer. And I'm going to show you how sort of this works. So just say we were to come in here and make a bit of a fat face happen, like something like this, something just really simple. So he's just gone a bit fatter. So let's blend that off. Yeah, so we've got this weird fat face. Now, uh, we now have a, a sculpt layer making a fat face, as you can see. And uh, this could be used as a slider, just like before. Now, uh, with this sort of, sort, of, sort of selected, we now have two tools. We've got the mask, and over here, we've got the arrays. So mask and arrays. And what the arrays, the mask tool will do, sorry, is it will just sort of come in here, and wherever we paint, we're sort of painting out that shape. So I can come in here, paint over the whole face, and we're basically painting out the whole of that. And at any stage, if I want to come back and get it, get get it back to how it was, we can just hold our control key, and I'm now painting that sculpt layer essentially back in. So this is a form of non-destructively getting rid of our uh, sculpt layer because by painting it out, it's still there, but we just sort of got a mask over this area. So that uh, it's kind of like in Photoshop with the mask, same, some, same sort of scenario, is that we can paint it in and out and paint it and get that sort of like that shape back. Now, the disadvantage of this is if we were to paint that sort of section of the face out like this, see that it's sort of painted out. Uh, now we can't actually very much, it's quite hard for us, it's quite difficult for us to actually come in and grab this section of the face here. Now, uh, it's sort of like um, a bit dangerous to do that because what I've actually done is I actually have grabbed the mesh and moved it out. But uh, if we were to bring it back again, so I'm gonna get the mask and then control click on this. See, I actually have moved the mesh out, but we're just not seeing it because it's been masked out. So this is a, a real uh, problem. Uh, because I was actually just grabbing that mesh before and moving it around, but uh, you're just not seeing uh, the difference that's happening because the mask is masking that area out. Okay, so I'm going to undo this a little way until we're back to this fat face. Uh, now the other version of this is in fact the erase tool. So the erase tool will also get rid of a sculpt layer, but in this case it's actually erasing the mesh back to or erasing all the differences that we've made in that sculpt layer. So this is very handy if you just want to delete, permanently delete parts of, of your sculpt layer because now we can come back in here and I can actually start to re-sculpt in that area. Um, it's a, a way of just deleting uh, the original sculpt layer. So erase is essentially deleting and masking is temporarily getting rid of. That's the difference between those two tools. Okay, so now that uh, I'm going to delete this tra trash that layer, go back to our smile shape, which we have on there. Uh, now, just a really easy way to sort of combine, get rid of uh, half of this and sort of, we want to separate the eyes and the mouth. So I do like to sort of come in here and see how the eyes and the mouth are working together in one sculpt shape. But later on when I'm exporting back to Maya, we want to have just the eyes uh, smiling and just the mouth uh, to get us the animators a bit more control so they've got the sliders for individual uh, parts of the face. Now a really easy way of doing this is with the masking tool so just as we did before now first we want to duplicate our layer so we're going to duplicate this one I'm going to call this smile eyes and I'm going to call this other one here smile mouth. So now that we've called these two the same you can see it's kind of like if we're in Maya and we had a uh, blend shape set to 200%, 100% plus 100% equals 200% and our face shape is messing up. So we can just sort of take one of them off and we're back to here. Now with the smile mouth, we just want the mouth to operate and not the eyes. So we can just use the mask tool. Sorry, I'm just trying to get our brush a bit smaller with the B key. And we can just now paint out the smile that's happened on that eye kind of section. So you can sort of see here, using a bit of the the, um, the shift, I paint them out completely. We want that to not move at all. 
when that happens, maybe a little tiny bit of the cheeks, smooth it out a bit. Uh, you can see what's happening there so that when the mouth smiles, everything's smiling, but we don't have the eyes moving. Now I want to switch that off. We're going to switch on the smile eyes and we're going to do the, different, the reverse of that. So we can actually come in here and we can just go and paint out uh, this time the face. So just painting out all that sort of stuff that happened there. Make sure we've definitely got it around there. The ears too. Let's get rid of them. Really big brush. Make sure we've got nothing kind of accidentally selected down here. Uh, and now you can see that we've just got our eyes kind of working. And you also want to just check this sort of joining part of the face just to make sure that they're blending together nicely, which I think they kind of are. Maybe on that smile eyes we don't want to have so much of that cheek moving so we can just come in here and with the mask still selected and that smile eyes just paint that out a little bit and there we go we can see just want to paint some of that out and we've got those two guys working together so now we have uh, a smile eyes and a smile mouth uh, ready to be separated and these are essentially blend shapes that we can take back into Maya for the animators to have full control over.